Hi everyone, I hope you all are having a wonderful time. Today I would like to share my experience of using this SU9 Ultra, which is using AKM 4499EX with AKM 4191EQ modulator chip combination as usual with top of the line AKM chip based DAX. This one is direct competition to SMS own SU9 Pro, so which is uh, using ESS chips inside. So retail price is exactly the same. The structure and design probably very identical to it. Let's go through the menu system here real quick. Before that, many people are asking me why I use these isolation feeds underneath these components, right? These isolation feeds are good at containing and reducing vibration to your components, although it may not need it. But another major benefit to these kind of small component is the air underneath the component that give you better air circulation and help cool down the unit. So these kind of small units are very tightly fitted so the air circulation is much needed, even some amplifier. If you put this kind of inch and half or two inch underneath this kind of component, it will help extend the life of your component generally and help you cool down the actual operation temperature of these kind of decks. So that is my whole point of using these feet underneath it. So as usual, just hit this main button and it will take you to inside the menu. There is a lot of functions and features that you can use. So let's go to number one, that is the inputs. So four digital inputs that you can use here. And next one is output. You can use all line out or balance or unbalance. And PCM filter, I'm using standard filter. DSD filter, that is standard, the white filter as it came from the factory. Sound color, I'm using number one in this combination. And next one is pre-mode. Currently is disabled, is variable. So you can change it to fixed. So that is going to be pure deck mode only. So that's what you can do. If you choose variable, you can control your power amplifier again. So that is a good feature and it works great. The pre-stage function in this SU9 Ultra is very good. And FN key, that is for your menu FN key button. So that is your choice of what you want to use with audio phase as usual, normal or inverted, and dimmer. So those are all the features like all, all other SMS component and factory reset. So that's it, menu system is very simple. Most of my review, I use standard filter selection with sound color number three, but then uh, when I switched it to this main system, I went back to sound color number one. So there is slight different in sound coloration. I started out in my streaming setup using Class D Power Amps and trying with a few different amps. I like the way that they sound with filter number three. Also, I tried it as a pre-amplifier and DAC combination, and I listened to it. It doesn't have any noise or unwanted uh, interference between the amplifier stage and DAC stage and when it's switching to different modes or different uh, resolution or different formats. Whether you're streaming or playing through your laptop or the Havana, it doesn't make any major noticeable noise at all. So that is a good thing. I tried it in my streaming rig and I like the way it sounds. Then uh, one of my favorite feature of this SU9 Ultra is it match incredibly well with my Ice Power Class D Mono Block. So I tried it with the KLH Model 3 Ice Power 500 Watt Mono Blocks and this combination, and it sounded wonderful. I mean, thoroughly enjoyable sound signature with 
nice and transparent yet nicely warm side of signature and richer tone and balance with engaging notes that it can produce. Bass notes are very clean and precise with very accurate mid-range. So when I switched it over to this main system, I started off using with this Pioneer TED S1 EX Towers and its sound is doesn't really work in with the filter number three. So I switch it over to filter number one and it opens up a little more and resolution and micro detail and separation is better than uh, using with filter number three in this combination. I still slightly want a little bit more separation in upper mid range area. It's just nitpicking, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just stating my experience. So I try that. I enjoy a bunch of different music from blues to country to, I mean, everything you name it, I tried it many different genre and different type of uh, artists and I thoroughly enjoy the way that it can produce a sound. It has a nice immediacy to it. Better than I try with my streaming setup, the immediacy wise, the bass control is much better and deeper and richer bass quality. Mid range quality is very nicely reproduced with very nice separation and resolution to come with, but human voices and vocal, the glare is gone. So more precise and cleaner sounding in overall the filter selection, not the system, right? So jumping from filter three to back to filter one. So that's what the differences are. So this setup is more revealing, but totally enjoyable. So those kind of sound signatures are totally, uh, the differences are totally noticeable even between the sound color selection. Tone and balance is always on richer side and this one is one of the honestly sticking with AKM sound signature and this one design is I would say purest design because it doesn't have streaming capability or other a bunch of features but it does produce good sound quality without much of a coloration. So the gain wise using at the zero gain that will put a little bit higher gain than other decks that I have probably like four or five dBs louder using at the zero dB level but you can play around with it to me the zero dB gain level using as a deck alone gives me very nice immediacy and rich sound signature. Human voices are very accurately reproduced. Only minor thing that I would like to improve is slightly better separation between upper bass area. That's about it, nothing major, okay? And then when I switch it over to this JBL100 Classic 75th, which can be very revealing and vivid and dynamic sound. It will produce real life like sound signature to it, yet very accurate sounding. If the deck is bright, it's gonna show it incredibly bright, right? So when I try that, it's well controlled and contained those brightness are, doesn't matter what music I try. Tracks such as uh, Love by Country Boy by Trey Landon. So those kind of tracks are very brightly recorded with very punchy snare drums and kick drums and all the drum rolls and everything. So when I listen to that track, it's well produced. I mean, it's totally enjoyable sound with engaging to listen and I mean, the brightness is totally controlled. That's what I like to say. So very simple as that. So it's going to be direct competition to SMS on SU9 Pro, Topping E70 Velvet, or even Gasta Autolytic AH90. So different is going to be minor differences, right? 
SMS on SU9 Pro will have slightly more revealing sound with slightly less pronounced or deep bass quality. Overall soundscape and depth, this one will be, this SU9 Ultra will be slightly deeper even compared to uh, Autolic AH90. So depth of the sound stage is, I think, very much similar to like topping E70 Velvet, but this one will have slightly punchier and better immediacy over topping E70 Velvet compared to AH90 from Gusted Autolytic, that's gonna be more transparent than this SU9 Ultra plus that streaming capability, right? So depending on what you need, nothing can go wrong with in terms of sound quality, whether you choose this SU9 Ultra or Pro or Autolic AH90 or even Topping E70 Velvet. They all have great sounding decks. Only comes down to your personal taste and your system pairing with how would you prefer to hear your music. For me, I kind of like this purest approach from SU9 Ultra. This SU9 Ultra is for those of you who wants to enjoy your music without sacrificing accuracy and natural sounding sound signature out of the digital playback, giving you nice and rich tonal balance with very wide and spacious sound. Saying that spacious sound is there, but it may be slightly uh, lacking the uh, separation. It has a nice and air, smoother side of uh, airiness there to in the top range of frequencies, but it may need slightly more separation to give you impression of airy sound. Otherwise, I would say it's natural and organic feeling sound signature and accurate notes that it can deliver. Guitar riffs or bass notes or upright bass or snare drums, those notes are nice and punchy, accurate sound with good immediacy. It has very good noise performance and analog like sound signature to it. If you are after purest deck, this could be great choice for you if you are shopping for $500 price range of decks in general. So highly recommend it, my friend. Thank you very much for watching and happy listening. Next one is, it's called Kiss of Life. And let's hear some bass.
Upper grade on the bass, Mr. Tony Boy Keskis on this. On the guitar, Otto Mayorskis on this. Yeah. 